In this video, I'll discuss cryptography. Cryptography is the science of preventing unauthorized access to private information. The main objectives include confidentiality, whereby information cannot be understood by anyone other than those for whom it was intended. Authorized parties, for example, would have a decryption key so they could decrypt the data. With integrity, stored or transmitted data that gets altered can be detected. Now, when we detect a change, it either might have been intentional or unintentional. Either way, it's one way that we know that data has changed from one point in time to another. Non-repudiation deals with the fact that a creator or sender of information can't deny in the future their explicit intention in creating or transmitting the information. For example, if a user digitally signs an email message and sends it to somebody, they can't refute the fact that they sent it because a digital signature is built with a private key that only that user has possession of. Authentication means proving of one's identity, whether one is a person, a web service, for example, or a device. So with authentication, the sender and the receiver can confirm each other's identity along with the origin and destination of transmitted information. These all fall under the umbrella of cryptography. Cloud encryption prevents unauthorized access to stored and transmitted private information. Depending upon the specific cloud service you're using from a cloud service provider will determine whether or not encryption is supported, both at the storage and transmission levels. Encryption uses a mathematical algorithm to transform plain text into a non-readable form known as ciphertext. Now, the reverse process of decrypting that ciphertext decodes the information back to plain text. All these algorithms will require some kind of a secret value known as a key, which is used to encrypt or decrypt the data. Now, that's not to say that we always use the exact same key to both encrypt and decrypt. In some cases, such as with asymmetric encryption algorithms, asymmetry being different, we have two different keys that are used. They're related, but they are not the same. So for example, a public key would be used to encrypt data and the mathematically related private key would be used to decrypt it. Now in the case of cloud service providers, often public keys can be stored with the cloud provider if you're supplying your own, but the private key is stored by you. Cryptography looks at data states, such as data in use, which is data in process, data at rest, which is passive data that's being stored, and data in motion, which is data being transmitted. So data in use then would deal with something like a database where records are constantly being updated or spreadsheets that people are updating on a constant basis. Data at rest is data that's not active, so it might be stored in a data warehouse or some kind of an archive. Data in motion is data that is traversing a network or temporarily residing in computer memory. Now, the issue here is, do we encrypt, for example, data in use, at rest, and in motion for confidentiality? And the answer will really depend upon your needs, and in some cases, regulatory compliance. Certainly, we can encrypt data that's being used, data at rest, and data in motion. We can protect data in motion by using encryption tunnels or virtual private networks. We can also use network session encryption or higher level specific encryption mechanisms like Secure Shell or SSH. This is used to securely make a connection to a Linux host or a piece of network equipment in a secured manner. The connection is encrypted. We could also use Secure Sockets layer, for example, with a website to ensure that data is encrypted and kept private. With data at rest, we can use various encryption algorithms such as AES, RSA, SHA-256, and so on. We might even use database cryptographic functions specific to a database provider like Oracle, for example. We could also use storage cryptography, which might be provided by the cloud service provider, or it could even be built into an operating system that you're running in a virtual machine instance. For example, you might decide to use BitLocker drive encryption in a Windows virtual machine instance that's running in the cloud. We also have the option of scheduling the update of encryption keys. Encryption keys will often be changed for security purposes. 
there should also be auditing in place. Auditing makes sure that the appropriate parties have the keys that they need and that they're using those keys appropriately. We also have the option of considering minimizing our storage of sensitive and classified data where possible. Again, in some cases, due to regulatory compliance, we might have to force encryption for data at rest. Key management deals with key ownership. Now, the management side of the keys would include the issuing of keys, what to do once they expire, the revoking of keys if there's been some kind of a security compromise, and so on. In the cloud, key management can be a shared model, a consumer provider model, or a scenario where keys are maintained exclusively by the cloud service provider. For example, if we want to use encryption to connect to a virtual machine instance in the cloud, the cloud service provider might generate key pairs for us. They would store the public key. We would store the related private key. Both would be required to make a connection, for example, to a virtual machine instance. The cloud category can also have an impact on key ownership and management. So if we're dealing with infrastructure, where we're dealing with things like networking, the keys could be used differently than they would be, for example, if we're using software as a service. Multi-tenant cloud environments definitely add complexity to key management because it could run in the tens of thousands. Keys can be assigned per customer or shared group keys can even be deployed. This is covered in the NIST Special Publication 800-57, Parts 1 and Part 2. In this video, we discussed cryptography.